Hey guys, welcome to Brian's Garage. Today I want to talk about the uh, Chevy small block hot start problem. Uh, you know what that is, right? You've been driving for a while, maybe it's 100 degrees outside and you need to pull over and get some gas. So uh, you fill up, maybe go inside, get you a Coke, come back out, turn the key and there's nothing, nothing at all, not even a click. And that's because the solenoid, the windings in the solenoid being right next to the exhaust manifold have gotten very hot and when the Things get hot, they don't flow energy very well, right? Because there's already a bunch of energy in there. Uh, and there's just not enough voltage by the time it goes from your battery all the way to your ignition and all the way back out to this little terminal right here. There's just not enough voltage to push the current through, right? So uh, the solution back in the old days was to uh, put a Ford uh, starter relay on there, and that takes care of it. Matter of fact, if you have a Buick Holtz Pontiac engine, you got this problem, you're going to have to use that because uh, they don't make a, a newer model starter uh, for that unless you go with aftermarket uh, stuff, right? But anyways, this here is a uh, Delco Remy design. This is uh, back in the late 80s, GM recognized they had a problem with the uh, 10MT, and they came up with this, and it's called the PG260. The P means permanent magnet, and the G means gear reduction. There's actually a little planetary gear set in here that uh, operates just like a uh, like a cordless drill right and uh, anyways that makes everything quite a bit smaller uh, the, with the gear set it doesn't need as much torque so you can make that smaller plus because you've got permanent magnets in the housing here instead of windings like this guy see the screw right here holds windings in this that's why this lumps up right here there's and that also has a lot of weight because they're copper right so that makes everything much smaller. And uh, when it's smaller, it pulls the the, uh, the solenoid further away from the exhaust metal. You can see how this one sticks way out here, right? Here's your mounting pattern. Here's the outside edge. Here's the mounting pattern. Well, it's, it's probably about the same with this heat shield on, but it does pull it away. The other thing that's nice about this is the new style solenoids are shorter. See how it's quite a bit away from the end. So like my exhaust manifold should come down right here. So it's going to be far away from this. Whereas with this, the exhaust manifold comes through here and this is very close. So those two things together should cure the hot start problem. Um, another thing I, 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 uh, I did is I bought this, uh, this heat shield and the part number for that is, uh, uh, 126 uh, anyways, let's get back to the uh, the size. See, it's, this one here is 10 pounds, so it's quite a bit uh, lighter than this guy, which is 21 pounds. All of this is a cast iron design, so it's probably heavier than most. Oh, notice that the uh, it's got two bolt patterns on it. This bolt pattern here is for the Turbo 350, 704, 4L60, 65, and this is for the 4L80 uh, Turbo 400, which has 168 tooth flywheel. This is 153 tooth flywheel. Um, what else? Uh, depending on which one you have, if you have the, uh, the staggered pattern like this, you'll need the, two of the long bolts. And these are special bolts. You'll notice that this neural is bigger. It's a, it's a metric size. It's bigger than the old school uh, bolts. And uh, it gets tight right about there. And that centers everything up on the bolt holes so that this is all properly aligned when it when it engages the flywheel so as not to cause uh, abnormal wear. And uh, the bolt number is 1233 80 64. And uh, for the Turbo 350 4L60, let's see, 3860 short. Well, that's that part number right there. Oh, yeah. Uh, if you, if you can, download this technical service bulletin, uh, 10MT to PG260 upgrade. It's got all kinds of information on here. Um, it talks about how the smaller design uh, reduces heat soak and provides more clearance and for headers and uh, gets it further away from your exhaust manifold. Yeah, it's a pretty handy little sheet here. It's like got, got your bolts. And here's the part numbers for the, uh, the Remy starters. You can see here we got... Uh, 96207 is the one you're going to use on your Turbo 350 4L60 and 206, I think that's right. Yeah, 206 is what you'll use on your 4L80 and uh, Turbo 400. 
Um, comes in that box right there. I bought this from Rock Auto and it was $80 plus shipping, which is really pretty good. I mean, that's, I'm sure it's made out of Chinese stuff, but being that it's Remy, they've got a quality control department and they'll make sure this stuff is right before they sell it. Oh, I forgot to mention, uh, you might want to just go ahead and buy one of these shims. They don't cost much. And uh, the GM part number is 1405. 7993 for the offset one. I don't know what it is for the other one. It's probably on these instructions. So if you print these out, you'll probably have it. But have that on hand just in case you need it. You'll know if you need it because it'll whine. When you go to start, it'll make a high-pitched whine. And that means that your pinion is too far in depth to the teeth of your ring gear. And it's hitting on the root radius of the teeth. So you'll have to move it out with this. So I got one of those just in case I need it. All right, guys. Got it mounted on here. And it is... Uh... Yeah, it's quite a bit further away from the exhaust. Um, well, you can see that before this was like real close to the, uh, the downpipe on the exhaust. Let's see if you can get a better look. See how everything runs up in there. Yeah, looks pretty good. Now the heat shield, I tried it in basically two different positions because you can only do a couple different positions and uh, let's see if I get better luck here. Uh, that's the one that worked. Uh, I tried it moving it clockwise as you're looking at it there. And that tab on the very end, that guy, was just almost up against the exhaust pipe. So I think that that's probably how it's supposed to go. That'll keep some heat from the head and off there. But I think my main problem was just this down pipe wall along. So, uh, I didn't use the shim. Um, I bolted it on there and everything worked pretty nice. So, uh, I left the shim off. Didn't have any problems with noise. Matter of fact, uh, this thing sounds a lot different than the old starter because of that gear reduction. It's got a very, uh, sophisticated sound to it compared to the original. Matter of fact, uh, I'll see if I can get that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and play it right now. See if I can drop this down on the ground. So there you go. That's it, guys. She's all buttoned up. Hopefully, that's going to take care of the hot start problem. I think it will. Um, it is September 2023, so the uh, hot season is behind us. We'll have to figure it out next year, huh?